Hey everybody, welcome back. Just wanted to show you what's inside of a cosplay photographer's camera bag, or at least what I carry. So, as you may know, I am a uh, cosplay portrait photographer. I also do some modeling when jobs like that are available. I shoot a lot of events, and I've been doing that for uh, a bit over 10 years uh, as of right now. So, I did want to give you a look at what I do carry for most of these shoots um, and the kind of uh, gear that I have. So, starting with the bag, this is a 2B uh, waterproof bag. Um, I do not know the dimensions of it, but I will put them somewhere on the screen here. And uh, if it, this bag is still available, I'll share a link to where you can pick it up. One of the reasons that I picked this bag up was because it uh, has this uh, shield in it where it's waterproof and um, you, you just like put it over the bag and it protects your gear from the elements. So I thought that was a really cool feature um, and it does a good job of keeping the water, keeping the rain and elements off of your bag and that is especially important for me as some of the uh, events that I go to I'll use public transportation and um, it really helps me out. Then the, the other really good benefit here is that it just looks like a regular book bag and so you don't get a lot of uh, um, people just you know think of it as a regular book bag and so you get that nice uh, you get that ability to keep it uh, um, keep everything uh, safe and people not looking or trying to uh, get the uh, five finger special so uh, let's start out with some of the stuff that's in the bag so the first thing is this is the Sony um, G Master well, this is not GS lens, but this is the um, 50 millimeter 1.4 Zeiss ZA um, lens. This is the old one of the first um, lenses that Sony and Zeiss did uh, when the E mount was first released. So this lens is very old. This is that uh, 50 millimeter that a lot of the uh, folks don't really like. Um, I haven't been able to use this lens for a while because uh, it uh, got into an unfortunate accident. But um, when I was using it, it was it did a great job. But I will be sending this in for repairs, and hopefully sometime uh, next year, um, I would like to uh, replace this lens with um, any kind of new 50 that may come out by Sony. Um, really not interested in the 1.2, but a 1.4 I think would be more than sufficient. I know that there's a new Sigma um, 50 1.4 out, so you know I may rent that one just to see what it's like um, and see if it uh, see if it's something I would be interested in. But this is one of my lenses here. So let's just set this up here. Okay. So let's just start with the top of the bag here. And this is in no random order. This is a very random order here. Um, this is the AD200. Um, I really like this uh, flash unit. Um, I use this for all of my uh, off-camera flash. This is probably one of the best flashes that you could get, especially if you want to uh, pack light and you still want to have um, you still want to have that nice off-camera flash. So all of the cosplay conventions and photography events and photo shoots that um, that I've booked or that I've go to, I take this and it does a great job. Um, you can you can't go too wrong with this. I really like the ability that you can like replace the head on here. Um, I bought this uh, um, about a year or two after I got the original, I got this unit. So, I'm just right easy to just put it right back on. So, this is a, a great, uh, something really good to have. Um, it's a trigger. 
pretty simple here. Um, let's see here. We got a battery pack. I actually use this for like uh, my phone and any other thing that I need to charge with. And I keep this in my regular day bag for my uh, regular full-time job. So, um, I gotta really put that back in there. Um, one thing that I think, if especially if you're traveling, you really need to get yourself a uh, portable, uh, one of these uh, portable um, hard drives here. This is the um, Western Digital one, uh, Essentials. Um, I usually keep that in this little in, uh, in this little bag here, and I'll just go through the other stuff I have in here. But uh, one of the this is uh, this is pretty fast. This is about you can hold about a terabyte on here, and they have it in other sizes, 500 uh, megabytes. Um, I think they have a two terabyte one as well. Um, it may not be as like uh, secure. It may not be as uh, as durable as the SanDisk one, but for uh, for for 60, 70 bucks, you can get a very good small portable drive here and having your photos in two places when you're traveling is a really good idea so on a memory card um, and on one of these then you can just transfer over when you get back to wherever you uh, do your work at. Um, in this little pouch I keep a few things so it would be the drive there. We got a memory card reader for my laptop. Um, some additional batteries for the uh, trigger and um, what I'm shooting on right now is the ZV-1 uh, but this you have some extra batteries for the ZV-1 um, and just talk a little bit about the ZV-1 it's a great camera very good for video and everything it may not be the, the nice high quality uh, Tack sharp stuff, but it still provides very good uh, video as you can see here, especially when you know how to light it well. And it's very portable, and you know, it has, I think, a pair of great microphones on it. So, you know, this uh, this recording sounds very good because of uh, what that camera has on it, you know. So, uh, something that I really do like. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Uh, okay. Get into this pocket here. Got a few things. Um, memory card holder. This is an old one. Um, this is a Vanguard case. I like this one because it's nice and hard there. And you get a couple of uh, pages of, um, of uh, memory cards here. And I use these uh, SanDisk 128s. I got some older cards in here. Um, uh, as well, so some 16 gigs and 32, but most of these are the 128s. But um, any kind of memory card holder that you get, make sure it's a nice thick case there so that uh, um, you can keep your memory cards protected. Um, I got uh, some, let's see, got some business cards. Uh, when you get your business cards made, I would put the QR code on on. Uh, and it makes it 10 times easier for people to get to your website. And I would also, if you, I would set up a, um, uh, a link tree as well. Sorry, somebody's trying to call me here. So, that's it for that. So let's get to the main part of the bag here. So just a few other things that we have. We have the, Excuse me here. Try to pull this bad boy out. Here we go. This is the um, 135 G Master lens 1.8. Um, this is my favorite lens to use. Um, when I first started shooting, um, I got a 135. Um, when I got my hands on the A99, and I completely I fell in love with that lens. It was just that it was. Uh, a very old lens. It had a lot of CR in it, um, but when it decided to focus, it shot very well. So when Sony came out with this one, um, I picked it up as uh, 
as soon as I could. So, um, 135, one of my favorite lenses to shoot with. Um, I have a color checker passport. Um, I know a lot of people don't really like use these these days, but I try to keep this one. One of the things that I do like about it is you have all of the different colors here. So if you're doing portraits, um, and you want to get too precise color. This is uh, good to have. And then you also have a gray card in the back as well. So um, makes it very easy when you get in the pulse. But most cameras do a really good job today, but sometimes the old methods are still a good use. Um, so this right here is, we have the 85 uh, 1.4 G Master, and it's the, uh, the lens that a lot of Sony photographers don't like, but I still like it because it does a great job. It focuses okay, um, and you know, I, I swear by the 85. Um, it is attached to the Sony A7R5. This is uh, one of the newer cameras that are currently available by Sony. Um, this has been a very good camera thus far. Um, one of the things I do like about this is the screen on the back here. Um, and what a lot of people don't understand about this is that this, this is not new right here for Sony. Not new at all, because um, I had the A99 um, had a very similar type of uh, screen, tilting screen on here. It's just that this screen is bigger and it is a better quality screen. Um, you get some very good files out of here as well. So, whoop, that kind of slipped on me there. So, um, Attached to it, I have this, um, I have this, uh, um, trying to read the thing here, Peak Design, um, strap. Uh, this is, you know, one of the best straps that I've, uh, ever had, and you see it hooks onto the camera, through these little things here. Um, this is a very high quality strap here, um. Other straps that I've had, you know, they used to attach to the, the bottom of the thing here. They will fall off. I remember I was at one event and it's 2014. And I was walking through the convention area and the the, 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 the the strap had actually, the whole plane had fell off and the camera was on the floor. With my, I was using pocket workers at the time. It actually got that thing on the floor too. So, like, I was not happy about that. It didn't break, but still, um, this is much more secure. And uh, just a pretty good, um, it's a very good strap that you that will last for a very long time. So this is a very nice peak design uh, thing here. And it, you know, it, it's, it's a little bit more expensive, but sometimes if you buy something that's a bit more expensive, then you don't have to buy it again for a long, long time. So I'm not a person that likes to, you know, change gear every single day. Um, I like to buy it once and be done with it, you know. So that is pretty much what I have in my camera bag. A very simple setup um, of things. Um, I don't think that you need to spend, that you need to have a whole bunch of things to, to get great looking images. Uh, it just really just requires creativity, um, some determination and understanding the, the most basic things that you need to have. Um, I like prime lenses, which you can uh, see, and uh, they do a good job for the events, modeling, and cosplay that I shoot. Uh, thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next one.